I think in the beginning you're not quite sure what you're getting into. I think then when you're in it, particular pers extroverted personalities are fine with it, but I wouldn't say Grace or myself are extroverts. I think probably introverts who are living a very um, uh, extroverted career, put it that way. And so that's probably where we're similar. And also just similar in the sense of we have a passion for, for acting and then a passion for family life. And that struggle, I think, is the struggle that so many women have, um, of how do you have both and how do you be a good mother, a good wife, um, a good sort of confidant to your partner and yet also have your own life and have some sort of artistic career if that's what you desire. And, and also a purpose in life. I mean, I think trying to leave some sort of goodwill in the world, something good that you leave as your legacy, which I think Grace managed to do impeccably. But you had to sacrifice something. Do you feel you would be ever able to sacrifice some, you know, your art? I mean, it, it was quite heavy, that kind of sacrifice um, for duty. Yeah, I think I could do it. I think I would if I had to do it. You know, obviously I don't have to do it. I've managed to come up with a balance, but I still don't live, I don't live in Hollywood. I live in, in Nashville because I needed the, um, I suppose the sanctity of that. I needed a place to raise my family where I could drive them to school, where I wasn't going to be followed by paparazzi, where I wasn't going to be scrutinized every minute of the day. Um, so I sort of chose a different path. But, you know, Grace's path was a worldwide fishbowl in a way. She, she suddenly was... And you have the protocol of royalty, which is a very particular destiny. And I think for a little while she sort of was not quite sure how to achieve that. And then at the end, and particularly you see in the film, she sort of commits herself to that path, to her, to, and to standing by Renier and, and he, he was going to stand by her and what we say in English is, you know, I've got your back and I think she really had his back.